ever had a running toilet that you didn't know how to fix? Well, you're not alone. A running toilet can be quite a nuisance, but it's something that can be fixed with a little knowledge and the right tools. So, let's dive right into it. First things first, gather all the necessary tools for the job, a pair of pliers, an adjustable wrench, a screwdriver, and a replacement flapper. These are the basics that you'll need. Remember, it's always better to be prepared than to have to run around looking for tools in the middle of a repair. Now, you're ready to start. The first step is to shut off the water supply to your toilet. This is usually done by turning the valve located on the wall or floor near the base of the toilet. Turn it clockwise to shut off the water. The next step is to remove the toilet tank lid. Be careful with this, as it can be heavy and fragile. Set it aside in a safe place where it won't get knocked over or damaged. Now that the tank is open, you can see the flapper. This is the rubber piece that seals the tank and prevents water from flowing into the toilet bowl. If the flapper is worn out or damaged, it could be the cause of your running toilet. To replace the flapper first, unclip it from the overflow tube. This is the tall tube in the middle of the tank. Once the flapper is unclipped, you can remove it from the chain that connects it to the toilet handle. With the old flapper removed, it's time to install the new one. Attach the new flapper to the chain, making sure that it's the same length as the old one. Then clip the flapper onto the overflow tube. Now, the moment of truth. After the new flapper is installed, turn the water supply back on by turning the valve counterclockwise. As the tank fills with water, watch to see if the flapper seals properly. If the flapper seals and the water stops running, congratulations, you've successfully fixed your running toilet. If not, you may need to adjust the chain length or replace other parts of the toilet. To summarize, fixing a running toilet involves shutting off the water supply, removing the tank lid, checking the flapper, and replacing it if necessary. Once the new flapper is installed, the water supply can be turned back on to check if the problem is solved. It's a simple process that can save you time and money on a plumber's bill. So don't be intimidated by a running toilet. With the right tools and a little know-how, you can fix it yourself.